Hi, Rebecca. Could you give us a really brief summary of the paper that you wrote for the UK's Changing Union Project, please? Yep. Uh, my paper looked at civil society in Wales, specifically the capacity of civil society in Wales to engage with the legislature and with government policy. And what I was looking at was whether civil society organisations not only had you know, the, amount, the right number of people, but the right expertise and the right access to be able to, to use their expertise and share it in the legislative and policy-making process. And what did you find? Uh, my research found that actually there are, there are almost two tiers of civil society organisation in Wales. There are organisations that do very well. They're very informed, they're very engaged with government, and they are consulted very, very frequently for their expertise. Um, there is another tier, however, that struggle quite a lot to engage. They don't really understand how the legislature and the government work. They don't really understand the politics of Wales, and they don't have people in policy roles that, that know how to sort of get them into that kind of other tier of people that are that succeeding and engaging properly. Do you think civil society in Wales is more uh, lacklustre in terms of its engagement with politics than other nations of the UK? More lacklustre, that's an interesting word. Um, I, I'm not going to use that word. I think um, civil society here is less dynamic, yes. Um, but that's because we don't have a great history or tradition of civil society in Wales. Uh, you know, you look at Scotland uh, enviously, maybe, for their sort of vibrant civil society. Uh, but you've got to remember that they were very, very engaged. You know, those organisations were extremely engaged in the devolution process way, way before 1999 when the, uh, when the governments took their seats. You know, uh, the Scottish Civil Society, you know, they had the uh, convention. They worked together quite a lot um, to, to develop uh, an inclusive institution. Whereas here in Wales, civil society was very much a, a kind of delivery uh, a delivery uh, operation, so policy would be made in Westminster and, and organisations here would implement it, and that, that was really it. They had no expertise, there was no community of, of policy expertise here prior to, to the Assembly. How do, you think that's, how do you think civil society in Wales is going to evolve as we get further along the path of devolution or as time progresses? Um, the evolution of civil society, I think, depends on a couple of things. It depends on the, the financial support that it's, that it's given, um, but it also depends on the kind of political environment that it's, it's growing into. You know, um, another thing the research found was that the fact that uh, Labour you know, is, is very dominant in Wales. We've had, a Labour, we've had Labour in government in one way or another since devolution happened. And we found that, you know, the, the relationships between people in the policy community working in civil society um, and, and the Labour Party mean that, you know, again, that tier I was mentioning earlier, you see a lot more people in that tier that know what they're doing um, than, uh, than in the other tier. So you have these close relationships between civil society organisations and government, which is not terribly healthy if those go on over a long period of time uh, without external money coming in to fund other civil society groups to get uh, different groups being consulted, uh, you, you kind of lose the plurality that you'd want to see in civil society. And that may, that may lead to a stagnation. Uh, we may see you know, less innovation, less kind of creativeness coming out of civil society organisations because they have a relatively cosy relationship with government and uh, because they, you know, they don't need to. <laughs> they don't need to innovate. They don't need to, to change. Um, I think if we saw, you know, uh, changes in the colour of the government maybe here in Wales, we might see some changes in civil society as well. Great. Thank you very much, Rebecca.